People think I'm crazy out here without a jacket on. I'm making the mailman a pass. Well, what made you think about using the dustpan to do the, the sidewalk? I did it on the back porch. I mean, I'm, I don't like to use a... I'm afraid of chopping, the, chopping up the brick and all. Oh. And, uh, well, it's easier for me. I don't like a shovel. How long you've been doing? How long did it take you to get this space here cleared oh, out? I, not long. I put hot water on it. Ah. What are you doing? Oh, we work for Channel 12. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Lower camera. And you're just doing a I'm wonderful going, job. One and a half. Bye. <laughs> There are many types of snow shovels on the market today, ranging from the least expensive and arguably the best, Wooly, which is a standard yet reliable shovel that will run you about $40. There are other options in the market and it really depends on what you're looking for and how much you are willing to spend. The Avalanche shovel is made out of plastic and aluminum. They are lightweight and compact enough that they can be carried on a backpack. Many backpacks feature a holster for attaching the shovel to the outside. A shovel can dramatically decrease the time it takes to dig out a victim. Digging with hands takes an average of 45 minutes to shift one square meter of snow. Using a shovel to dig out the same amount of snow takes less than 10 minutes. It is also important to make sure you are comfortable with your shovel. Making sure you know how to assemble and disassemble your shovel as quickly as possible can greatly increase the odds of a successful rescue. <laughs> 